On this video, we're going to be working on the power ups, one that increases the armor of the ship, and other one that makes the ship double shoot lasers. Since both power ups have a few things in common, we'll create a best scene for both. So let's create a new scene. I'll add an area to the node. Rename it Power Up and save it in the Scenes folder as Power Up that TSCN. Let's add an sprite node. I'll rename it Sprite lowercase, and I won't assign any texture since we will override it on the inherent scenes anyways. Let's add a collision shape to the node. Rename it shape and let's assign a new rectangle shape to the edit it and set the extension to 7x7. Seven seven. Let's add a new script and save it in the script folder as power up that GD. Hit create. I'll remove the comments. And here we're going to declare a variable name velocity equals to a vector 2 with 0 as x and 200 as y. So it only moves down vertically. Let's enable the process callback. And in here, we're going to translate this node by an offset of velocity by delta. And also, we will ask if the y position is bigger or equals to the view size that height plus 7, meaning that the power up has gone down the screen, and if it's so, we're going to destroy this node. And that's all we need on this base scene. Let's create a new inherent scene with power up as base scene. I'm going to rename it power up armor and save it in the scenes folder as power up armor dot tscn for its texture i'm going to assign the power up armor sprite let's clear its current script and add a new one saving it in the scripts folder as power up armor dot hit create i remove the comments and instead of extending area 2 d it will extend the power up script. Let's connect the signal area enter to the self node to the function on area enter, which I'll create down here with other as a parameter. And in here, we'll ask if other is in group ship. And if it's so, we will increase other that armor by one, and then destroy this node. And since we are increasing the ship's armor, let's go to the ship script. And on the set armor function, we're going to ask if new value is bigger than four, and if it's so, we'll return. So we prevent the ship's armor going beyond four. Now. For the shooting power up, there are a few things we need to do here on the ship script. Let's declare a variable name is double shooting equals to false. Along with the set function name set double shooting, which I'll create over here. And in here, we're going to set its double shooting to new value. And after that, we're going to ask if it's double shooting. And if it's so, we will make it wait 5 seconds. And then set it back to false. So its double shooting will only last 5 seconds being true. On create laser, we're going to return laser because we will need to make some changes to the extra lasers we instantiate. On the shoot function, after creating the two lasers, we're going to ask if it's double shooting. 
and if it's so, we're going to create a laser at post left and save a reference of the return laser as laser left and the same for the right. Then I will set laser left that velocity that's x to minus 25. So it moved diagonally to the left. And for laser right, set it to 25. So they go on opposite directions. Now that the ship is able to double shoot, we can create the power up laser. So let's create an inherent scene based on the power up scene. I will rename it power up laser and save it in the scenes folder as power up laser dot csn. For the texture, let's assign the power up laser sprite. I'm going to clear the current script and add a new one, saving it in the scripts folder as power up laser dot gd. Hit create. And since this will be quite similar to the Power Up Armor script, I'm going to copy the Power Up Armor script and paste it back in here. I replace this with Power Up Laser, and when colliding with the ship, instead of increasing its armor, we're going to set its double shooting to true. In order to spawn the Power Ups, we're going to create a scene quite similar to the spawner enemy. So I'm going to create an inherent scene based on the spawner enemy scene. I'm going to clear inheritance so we have just made a copy of the other scene. I will rename it spawner power up and save it in the scenes folder as spawner power up that csn. I'm going to make a script unique and save it as a resource in the squids folder as spawner power of that gd I'm going to replace this with a spawner power up rename this here power ups and here as well and we're going to load instead power up armor and power up laser Instead of 16, since the power up is smaller, we will use 7. And we're going to spawn every 10 to 15 seconds. I don't want a power up to show up right away, so I will make it wait before calling the function spawn. Let's open up the game stage. And let's instantiate the spawner power up scene in here. I'm going to place it above the spawner enemy node. Let's run the game. And after a few seconds, a power up shows up. And both of them have different effects on the ship. One increases the armor and the other one makes the ship double shoot. That's good. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you have learned from it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. That really helps a lot. And if you would like to support me, you can do so on my Patreon page. I'll see you on the next video.